wallpapers I have something called docs like air documents so I'm going to go ahead and know and uh, say cat documents okay so I'm going to say CD documents all right so this documents is a relative path is related to my desktop or related to my you know uh, my present working directory let's let, let's uh, do this okay let me do this mkdir okay dummy dummy one uh, I'm sorry, MKDIR, dummy, uh, actually I want to do that way, I mean that works, okay, I'm going to say inside dummy, I'm going to just let me do it the hard way, So I'm in the desktop directory now, I'm in desktop right now, right? I'm going to do ls. So I have created a dummy directory, right? So I'm mkdir dummy directory inside documents, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go inside documents right now. I'm going to say ls. I'm going to say dummy. I'm going to say ls, there's one more directory called dummy1, I'm sorry, uh oh, okay, so into that, I can, what I can do is, <coughs> mm -hmm. oh, so I know that inside documents right now, there's a directory called dummy, inside that we have dummy1, so what, I, what I'll do is cd, Documents, dummy, you want. So this, when I what you see now here, is a relative path. All right, this is a relative path. You can say CD like this. Right, I'm here. But I'll, but what I can do is I can also go ahead and uh, I'm say PWD percent working directory. So I'm here. But I want to go here, so what I will do is Control Shift C to copy it, CD, alright, Control Shift V to paste it. I'm going to go there, so I went inside the dummy1 directory using the relative path. I'm going to go now using the full path, alright. So, full path is here, this is a full path. There you go, that, that is how we do it, right? So, let me say, I'm going to delete that dummy directly now. Okay, clear. So, that is how we do it. So, let, next slide. Here, as you can see, it says a regular file. What is a regular file? A regular file begins with dash, non-color coded, okay, maybe any other file containing text, a picture, or a script. It's just a file. Regular file is a file that begins with dash. Okay, that is uh, the way you can remember. Let's see, what's the regular file? If we want to look into you know, a lot of files, we can go ahead and, on and uh, check out my desktop. Let's go ahead and, on and check out my desktop. Okay, CD slash.
Yes, let's go to my desktop it out. Let's go to Gudges just up. Okay, home. And then I'm gonna say to I'm gonna say desktop. Right, I'm gonna do ls. Right. Inside that I'm gonna say what if I do ll? So if I did LL right now, as you can see, this is a file. This is a presentation, ODP, Open Document Presentation, but however, this is just a file. And it begins with a dash, as you can see here, right? So that is a regular file, okay? So, then we have... Directory files. <clears throat> directory files are, as the name itself suggests, they are directories. As you can see here, it begins with a D, that means they are directories, right? So, next, executable files. Executable files are, you know, they start with, uh, usually they start with dash, but it will contain XXX. <clears throat> XX where? XX in the fourth, seventh, or tenth position any command or shell script that can be executed, anything that can be executed, right, is, you know, <coughs> is called as executable. Let's go ahead right now and uh, do this, right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this. So, I did a file, file, file is a command which is going to tell you, you know, any, what type of file is it? So if I do file slash bin slash ps, uh, let's do the hard way. Let's go to the slash bin directory. I'm going to do ls here. I'm going to do ll here. Right, if I do ll here, you can see a lot of things. Right, a lot of things. And you know, then you have all the executables. Okay, this is all keys. Okay, this base name cat cat is an L. Uh, is it a regular file? It says regular co you know, copy. It's executable. I mean, these are all commands, right? I mean, they are. They gotta be executable. And so, uh, that there is something. You know, there's nothing new in that. And then, what do we have? After executable files, we have symbolic link files. Symbolic link finds begins. Uh oh, I'm sorry. I gotta say E. Okay, cannot say that's okay. Anyway, begins with begins with no L. L as in link, right? L as in link. They begin with this and uh, the color they are color coded. Okay, arc. As you can see the color here. Look at the color. Look at the color. Alright? Link files are color coded like this. I'm sorry, actually, the color got changed. You know? I mean, uh, I actually painted with this color, but I created this with using you know Microsoft, you know PowerPoint presentation. Uh, <clears throat> and trust me, guys, you know if you even if you save it as an open documentation pr presentation, it is absolutely not compatible. It's not compatible at all. Right? You have to, as you can see, you know there are a lot of things I have to drag and drop to ship them. And there's a lot, <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff you have to do before you actually you know use that file in Linux, you know or something a uh, uh, presentation created in, you know Microsoft. <clears throat> so you want to be careful, you know, if if you really want to you know, create a presentation uh, uh, next time. So anyway, so that's symbolic link files. Then we have uh, what do we have next? Directory files are over, executable files are over, symbolic links over, then device files. Device files are yellow. I mean, I that's why I know I made the, these as yellow, right? They begin with B, B is in block level, alright? C is in character, right? So that means there are two types of device files I have already told you Linux kernel communicates with devices with the help of their respective device files every device has the, has its own device file and B means you know block uh, block level or block device file and C means character